good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you're watching this from. Thank you so, so much for clicking on my little video here on Doki Doki Literature Club. Really, really appreciate it. As I say, every single day or every single week even, I really appreciate everyone who's ever even considered clicking on this video and everyone who has clicked on this video and everyone who's even subscribed and liked. Thank you so, so much for every single one of you. Anyway, with all that uh, being said and done, let's carry on with Doki Doki Literature Club. I just pressed the button, uh, the mouse button there. Yeah, uh, just a wee heads up uh, by accident. Didn't actually mean to do that, but hey ho. Um, but anyway, Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did? Did I just... Yuri looks at me. She needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um, level up? Sorry, I guess I shouldn't have done that. That's, well, you were just helping, so it's something that friends do. Right? I mean, not really in the kind of context, but yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, then you don't need me to stop or anything? I see. Situation has got really intense. Yuri tries to return to the book, but I can just tell by expression that even she can't focus now. My heart is pounding. I never have taken all the chocolate between my fingers, but this time Yuri's eyes meet mine. Dot dot dot. How did they even come to this? Yuri doesn't even avert her gaze and notice her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of her breath. I raise my arm. Ah. Like before, Yuri parts her lips, but it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Okay, everyone. Well, well, I um, Yuri jokes back. It's time to share poems. Level up. You can help Yuri put away the tea stuff, right? Y yeah, of course. Okay, thanks. The spell is abruptly broken. I'll, I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. Yuri picks up the teacups from the floor, I pick up the bag of chocolates, and at the end we hastily clean up without so much as a word between us. I get the feeling this is something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. Who should I show my poem to first? Who do you think? I'm going to say Yuri, so we're just having a whole conversation with her. There you go, let's see what you've written for today. Dot dot dot. Dot 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 dot. Yuri stares at the poem with surprised expression on her face. Do, do you like it? Level up. This one might even be better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imaginary. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. I'm not. I'm not really used to this. Used to what? I don't know. It's fine. Just, just take your time. Yuri breathes and breathes and collects her thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer that patience to her. Yeah. Just being appreciative like this, I guess. Probably sounds really stupid, but seeing a seeing. Someone motivated by my writing it just makes me just makes me really happy. You seen you never shared your writing before? Yuri nods. Really, I don't believe it. I really want to write for myself. And besides, people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. Huh. Even your close friends. Dot dot dot. Yuri doesn't respond to that. But I wonder why. Anyway. You want to share a poem you wrote today? Yeah, I do. If, if it's with you. Oh, it's cursive. I can't read cursive. Right, I'll try my best here, right? I'm going to try and, going to try and get some sombre music in the background. Um, all, all of this. Um, if that doesn't happen, I haven't figured out how to do it yet. Let me know in the comments below how to do that and I'll try and incorporate it. Um, right, anyway, let's get into this. The raccoon. It happened in the dead of the night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. 
My attention was caught by the scuttling of raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as a wandering human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, my subconscious well aware of the consequences. Well aware that the raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of cutting knife was the symptom. The bread, the hungry curios my hungry curiosity, the raccoon, an urge. The moon incitements in its phase and reflects that much more light off my cutting knife. The very, very same light that glistens in my eyes of the raccoon drink. I slice the bread, fresh and soft, the raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to, uh, taken to following me. You could just say that it's gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I banish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood, classic pavilion conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. I hope I read that right. I, just, I, I can't really read cursive, you know, this sort of writing. I, I can't read it, it just takes me a bit of time. Um, anyway, let's continue. Um, it was a lot more daring with this one than yesterday's. I, I can see that. It's, it's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can begin to imagine what a poem is about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and convey emotions through them. Yeah, if I take face value, then I can even figure out what's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. Those sort of things I'm usually focused, forced to keep to myself. So I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Oh. Oh, if you do that, oh, I didn't know you could do that. Ha! Ah, that's cool. You write, click, and it gets rid of the dialogue. Um, so I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Sorry about that. Why do you keep them to yourself? Because they're, they're embarrassing. It's just people who make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that, like what? Well, yeah, I guess I do, but I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best we, the best we can do is respect each other and our individualities, that's a big word. Even if it's difficult sometimes and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I'd probably hate myself. I, I might be ranting a little bit right now, but I'm glad that you're a good listener. You're good at a lot of things. Writing, listening. There aren't really many people like you, live what? That's exaggerating a little bit, don't you think? It's no, it's just it's just how I feel. I never thought I'd feel this comfortable sharing my writing, but, but now I almost feel like I look forward to it. It's just it's just a really nice feeling. And I want to thank you for that. It's it's really nothing really. Yuri smiles sincerely at me. Just for a moment her timidness seems to disappear. Because this is getting the same thing as last time, um the whole thing about the whole 15 minute videos and stuff like that. And it's gonna take me a lot longer. Um, for the next poem, more than likely. So I'm going to add this one here with just reading Yuri's poem now. I hope you've all enjoyed Yuri's poem. This one might be a wee bit shorter, purely for the fact, as I said before, it is um, supposed to be like a 10 to 15 minute video, uh, given the edits and stuff like that, you know, whatever. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll let you get going for this evening. Please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment just just ask me any questions i would love to do like a almost like a q a almost all my subscribers obviously i love every single one of you for using that subscribe button i really really appreciate it but i don't really say anything about myself i'm obviously just playing the game so if you want to ask me anything feel free genuinely i'm an open book well, actually i suppose literally i suppose that we're saying about poems i suppose there but um i wasn't even supposed to be a joke um, but yeah, so if you want to know anything about my setup, about why I'm playing the, the, this particular game, why I've uh, set up a YouTube channel, uh, just just anything really about my cats as well. I've got two cats. You can ask me about those as well if you want. Uh, feel free. And uh, 
Hat reveal, a thousand subs. Oh, I, I, honestly, uh, let me know what you would like me to do or what you'd like to see on this channel because I'd love to, I'd love to uh, create a channel where people are liking what they're seeing, want to keep watching every single uh, time they upload. And everything else like that, it's it's I just I just really appreciate every single one of you for for watching, for liking, for subscribing, for share even sharing as well. If anyone has any ever even considered sharing one of my videos, I genuinely appreciate it. But again, as I've said last week, I think it was, I do take forever to say goodbye on any videos. So I will quickly just say thank you very much for watching. Again, really really appreciate it. Take care and I will see you again very soon. Bye bye.